A creepy ass ladybug? No. Someone flipped off the light switch without me looking. So it made a weird noise, so I mean, I definitely heard something happen. Well then, game, you got my attention. <laughs> Welcome to Visage. Visage? V v visage? I do believe it's Visage. I could be pronouncing it wrong. I feel super tired for some reason. I like literally woke up at like 6 p.m. And it's like 11 p.m. right now. I have no idea why I'm tired. But let's just get into it. I just, I, I, this game, this game's been semi-demanded. And it's getting more and more attention. Like, really, I just even saw the game theorists fucking start stream playing it. So I'm just like, God, I've had it installed on my computer for like a week. I haven't touched it. Just because of all the other games I'm playing and the Conjuring. So I, I just gotta hope that when I play this, it's an awesome game. That you guys enjoy this. So if you guys do enjoy it, please, please, please give it a like and, just, you know, just give it a good watch. So let's, let's just get into it. Visage is hard. Patience. Thorough investigation. I'm good at that. And good resource management are your best friends. Good luck. I'm good at all those things. People compliment me on my thorough critical analyzing. Also, why is the door... Right there, like Silent Hill for the room. Is it just me? That door? If you guys can even see the loading screen, I might have to remove the loading screen if it legs the the video and editing. It was like a picture of a door exactly from Silent Hill Four. But yeah, so one of the things I had to keep in mind is with games like The Conjuring, I might still finish The Conjuring. But being that when I release games like Giraffe Town, it gets like 400, 500, 600 plus views pretty quickly. I can tell people actually like that series. The Nun Massacre gets like a thousand plus. More of my subscribers obviously like watching those videos. And then I look at The Conjuring, I release it, and a day later it still is in like within a hundred views. I can tell, even if people don't tell me, The Conjuring, no one really cares about The Conjuring. I feel like if I play it a bit more, I'll beat it and just get it off my my uh, shoulder. But at the same time, I hate playing games that just don't get the views. Unfortunately, I have to focus with such things as a small YouTuber. If I play games no one's watching, then my channel might as well slowly die. Really good visuals, though. I hope this game doesn't lag and is well optimized in comparison to The Conjuring, which had such leg spikes. Oh, shit. I'm guessing we're the culprit. Am I gonna shoot myself instead? Do I have a choice? You're loading that thing awfully slow, buddy. I wonder how long it took for the people to actually animate this, this scene of loading every individual bullet. Even if some of the animations are off-screen to save some time. Oh, more than one. Oh. Alright then. It's high noon. Just kidding, if it was high noon, he'd shoot them all in like one second. Yes, I'm making light of a horrible situation. Shh. Kaboom. No mercy. You feel like a big man? Is that a kid too? Obviously this isn't Skyrim, because the kids can die. Oh, and yourself. How, how heroic. Okay, so what is that supposed to mean? Is this like the start of the murder investigation? Murder mystery? I'm going to be looking into this? Or am I in limbo? Okay, am I starting PT now all of a sudden? I see a room that inspires Silent Hill 4, and now I'm waking up like I did in PT. That could be a bad thing, but it also could be a good thing. So for those that... Scratches on the door sort of insinuates this isn't the first time that guy's been here. 
E to grab, so it's also probably like Resident Evil 7 in a way. It's locked, you need the garage room key. Ah, oh, key inventory. I love having inventory specifically for keys. Uh, what else? And just move. Let's see. Alright, well, it's fucking optimized. I have everything, in fact... Look at this. Hi. Okay, I can go up here and epic. Never mind. It can go much higher. We're going to keep it as is. Because I don't need to fuck up what I already have that's running. 140 frames. Who can say no to that? Look at this. Smoothness. I mean, maybe in part two I'll try raising it, but not obviously right now. Oh, wait, what? No, I don't, I don't like that. If I don't let go of E, don't fucking... Annoying. For some reason, the, 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 you know, the, the camera, I moved like, shh, when I was still holding E to move the door. Progress room. This room is a hub containing items that represent your progress so that the game. These items are collected in different ways, including the end of a chapter. Once collected, these items will automatically appear in the progress room. Maybe the key items or optional items? Key items? Hmm. Yeah, hopefully not in a lot of situations. These cookies. Candies? Oh, sorry, candles. Oh, I, was can I thought it was a cookie tray. It looks like some sort of display stand. There's nothing on it. Okay, so we can find candles and decorate the sh dark areas of the room. It's all cool. Because that doesn't work. With light bulb repair. Ah, oh, so I can repair light bulbs. How about the, you know, the smoke alarm? I gotta repair that. Hello. Hello, Twain. It's Rose, your neighbor. Uh, hello. I, I know it's late, and mm -hmm. I know that I tend to be a little anxious about small things. Huh. I apologize for that, but I'm getting a bit worried. I haven't seen you out of the house in about three weeks. Is everything all right? I'm an introvert. Could you call me just to let me know everything's fine? All right. Bye-bye. I'd really fucking hate nosy neighbors like that, to be honest. It's like, yeah, I'm a shut-in, I like to, I, I do YouTube, I stay indoors, I play games, mind your fucking business, thank you. You see it as kindness, I see it as fucking stupidness. Uh, but, I mean, that's generational differences, too. You got, you got the millennials and the Gen Z, well, I don't know, I'd, I'd reckon that most of them aren't uh, rural kids who... Uh, Grew up in villages like me. I mean, well, I mean, I grew up, I guess, old-fashioned. So it's hard to say. I'm a mix between both worlds when it comes to new gen children of technology versus old gen of being born and raised in a village. So like in a neighborhood where everyone sort of knows each other. But I was never one for that atmosphere. One could say. Rotate S to turn. Okay. Zoom in and out. If I, I guess, need to examine it, I do not. Fucking fingerprints, I hate that shit. Can I, like, interact with it? Like, if I were wanting to unbuckle, unbuckle, unbuckle those! Probably not for that one. The candles. What? I mean, why would I pick this up and examine it if I'm not going to open it? Hmm. Oh, store! Oh! I can store the cans of beer! Why? We gotta collect all the non drinking cans, so we're gonna just drop that one, obviously. We're gonna store this one, and we're gonna take this one. There we go. Perfect. Okay. So now the question is... Hmm. 
Why? Mouse roll seems to open the inventory. Store examine. Can I examine it then? Craft beer. Why? And how do I drop it? Not oh, F. Something that just. I'll keep. Let's see. You know what? I'm curious. I'm fucking around a lot at the start of the video. I'm sure I haven't really done much at all. Can I. Can I put the beer on this thing? I want to put beer on here. Beautiful. Absolutely fucking beautiful. Okay. Uh, let's see. It's, it's got to rotate it. Hang on. There we go. Wait, wait. Perfect. One more. I praise and give sacrifice to the beer gods. No! The beer god's gonna be displeased. Stop, stop. There we go. Okay, I praise the beer gods. The beer gods should listen to me. Now we're actually going to move on to the game, because I hear the game is scary. And it's also like PT. Obviously, then it's gonna be inspired by Sound Hill, if it's inspired by PT. And if it's inspired by PT and inspired by Sound Hill, it's gonna be inspired by Resident Evil 7. Because all those games just seem to have, like, some kind of, uh, wonderful. The action is impossible at the moment. Okay. Why, because there's supposed to be a little jump scare here? Ah, sanity. Your character sanity will affect your gameplay. Standing too long in the dark will decrease your character sanity. Amongst varying other elements, your character sanity is represented by the brain icon in the lower left corner of the screen. Oh, if you see, if you see the brain clearly, your character sanity is dangerously low. And the dangerous events will occur. Ooh. The red uh, cloud icon appears when you're in a stressful situation, which decreases the sanity. I see. That's cool, I guess. Well, that's why I wanted to flip the switch. Oh, not yet. Okay. Con content not available in early access of the game. That's horrible. That, I mean, I guess I can understand it, but at the same time, it's... We're not going down there. Okay, now we can. I was about to say, I, I think I remember seeing a Steam review where I was making fun of it. Like, most of the content is locked. Like, all the doors are just locked. Paranormal events! Paranormal events occur randomly throughout the game. At least, random. Learn to identify these paranormal events as they hinder your progress and decrease your sanity greatly. Your character sanity also affects the number of paranormal Event consequences. You could try to. The bolt, light bulb is broken. It could be replaced by another one. But I don't have one. Okay. My sanity was going down, scanning in the darkness as well. Today the weather is going to be absolutely celestial. The temperature won't drop below 77 degrees, and it's going to be still a sunny day. Very nice outside. I like it. Take a day off and show your loved ones how much you care about them on this wonderful vacation. On another note, today we've got a special guest with us, and we're going to have a lot of fun stuff. His name is Wayne Anderson. Lots of broken keys. Coat hangers, shoes, nothing important. Where the keys probably would have been. Knocked over the candle accidentally. I'll just... Can candles are stationary lights that can be lit with a lighter. Moving around with a candle will cause it to extinguish. The last long time in act is a light source that helps increase your character's sanity. So it's sort of like fear and hunger, but at the same time... Okay, these I can put in my inventory. Beer doesn't seem to be as, you know, um... Relatively important. 
and candles and everything else, obviously, yes. Alright, with that said and done, it's jammed. Basement key needed. I heard a click. So as long as I stay in the light, it means the more crazy shit happens only when my sanity is crap just like an amnesia. So then the question is, would I want my sanity to deliberately turn to shit to make it as scary as possible? If the game is very short, I'll do as be an efficient player as much as possible, just play naturally. But the next time I play, I will deliberately destroy my sanity just to see how how cool it would be, you know? I think that'd be the smartest choice to playing this game. Why would I open this if it's just like tooth toothpaste and shit? Nothing important. Now what is that up there? Is this like a baby powder maybe? Examine... I cannot examine it. Oh, I can open here. Spooky. Also, what's in the... Spooky, spooky? Oh, this is just setting up for problems. Why is the bathtub so dark, though? Like, this... Is this broken? Where's the light switch? Is it in the bedroom? Where's the light switch for this area right here? I have my brain shut. My sanity's going nuts. Ah. No, that's not it. Where? Wait, what? Okay, message to the developer. There is no light bulb there. The light bulb's over here. And standing here causes the sanity to fuck up. Like, you can see the brain. It starts getting bloody. You can, you, you can tell. So, you know, there's nothing here. There's a light source. Or, or, or is the light sort? No. Oh. It's right here. But. Hmm. Never mind, I don't know. Just what the fuck? How do we turn those on? Hmm. Well, I don't know. I'm, I think I've been in the bathroom for too long. Razors. Shampoo. Let's just go into this room. Maybe turn on some more lights. You know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna... Actually, I'm not gonna put a candle here. Probably not important. My sanity's not going crazy in this room. Found another candle. I feel like most of my ranting has been a little bit useless as I just wander this house. Not an exciting episode, I know. So, for those that are watching this and have no idea what this game is, I'd say give it a chance of watching part 1 and 2, because I don't think this first episode is going to reveal too much of the game, especially how slow-paced I generally am in the first game, unless they, like, just throw you into a fucking nightmare at the get-go, but it doesn't seem like this is the kind of game that does it. It's just, like, easing me into the game, clearly. No, I don't like this. Oh, my sanity's decreasing fast. Uh, light with lighter. Do I even have a lighter? I don't have a lighter. Oh, my sanity was decreasing fast because of a fucking clock. And this area is also kind of super dark. Is there a lighter in here? I can't tell. See, these areas are way too dark. Where's the light switch? There we go. Perfect. Uh, this reminds me... A lot about that clown game. 
It's a very similar house structure in a way. I can't remember the game name even. The one with the clown in it and the woman trapped in the house and the dildo or the sorry, the vibrator in the closet. So this room needs better lighting. There we go. I mean, it's a giant closet, nothing in here. I'm looking for that lighter. I, 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 I don't believe I have a lighter. I don't think I can light things at the moment. I'm searching for those kind of key items first. Actually, oh, subtitles. I'm going to turn on some subtitles. I also want to turn up the brightness a little bit. Gamma correction? Uh, I don't know if I want to do that, but... Yeah, never mind. I don't want to have it so the game resets the fucking shit. Yeah, some alcohol. The person in this room was a drinker. Pills! Pills here! Pills act as an aid for your character's sanity. They are essential to your survival. When your sanity is dangerously low, they are the only viable option to recover your sanity. So in the... How does it like put in my inventory? There we go. Oh, more. Lots of pills. Hmm. Nothing's really happened, though. Oh. What? M Matryoshka doll? And it's now going... Is it, is it teleporting, or...? Okay, well we found a doll, because I'm really good at being thorough. The other thing is, since I'm so thorough, I gotta skip a lot of scenes until I find something actually legitimately interesting. See, there's another light bulb here, but I don't know and can't see where a light switch is for that one. Or this one. What does this even turn on? Oh, wait, what? Oh, okay, the light switch was that one. Weird. Room looks very cluttered. I wouldn't like this room. You found the drawing of a panda. Oh. It's a key. Oh. Lucy's chapter, an insidious friend. Auto-saving! Don't tell me I skipped a chapter. I don't... Is that a problem? Also. Attic. Don't have a reflection. I don't like the amount of darkness in there. There we go. The creepy ass turtle. The creepy ass ladybug? No. Someone flipped off the light switch without me looking. So it made a weird noise, so I mean, I definitely heard something happen. Well then, game, you got my attention. It definitely is subtle and creepy, because it's so dark I can't tell if there's anything in there. I'm too unfamiliar with this house. Oh. Knock, knock. The shadow, the smiley shadow says it also knock, knocks. Can I, can I pick it up? Something's behind me, isn't it? No? Wasn't that? <laughs> Is it a good thing I'm knocking or no? I'm probably pissing it off. The 
You want to fucking not knock once? The fuck is wrong with you? This is why I don't knock back for adults. This thing's also a little creepy. Hmm. I'm gonna keep that door closed, you know? The game is progressively getting a little creepy. I still need to find the lighter, because I presume I don't have a lighter on me. I think I've fully explored this room and I know exactly what's in here. Let's see then. So I've been in through there. Ah! The shadow monster... gave... It's about to break. Ignore the clock. Don't worry, honey. Muffin. I've already been in here. I've already been on here. Why is a clock scaring my character? Ah! Ah! Wait. Well, this one has blackened eyes. Why... Why am I interacting with this one and it's not... Vanishing like the first one did in the drawers. Cannot content not available. I see. Is this game basically a whole game of a house where most of the things is closed? Like if I can't enter that door, this is the bathroom. Over there's a bedroom. Bedroom, child bedroom. Wait, wasn't that door closed? I think so. And this one... I don't like how dark it is. Oh, I don't like this section at all. I want to put a candle here. There's absolutely no source for light here. I do not like this couch area. Granted, if there's a light there, it would be an awesome lounge room. Like, just look at it. I, I like this... Based on, like, architecture and, um, comfortability. He just looks like a comfy little area of a room. It just would need a fucking ceiling lamp there. It makes sense, it makes no sense that, uh, well, I mean, that that light source seems to be working properly. It doesn't make sense that the light doesn't really light up that area more. More beer. As soon as I search through this room, I'm probably going to end the episode, though. Because I've been, uh, playing a decent amount. Which is mostly roaming, with that one closet scene being the creepiest thing, but for the most part, it's just, uh... I don't like this at all. I also don't like this. An office area where, creepily, your back is to not... Uh, not I, I don't like the concept of my back not being against a wall if I have a headset on. If I had my back, like, like let's say my desk was rotated, and over this way is to my door, to my room. If my back was to the door, ugh, I wouldn't like that. I had to do that in college three, four years ago. I never liked it, because then anyone could try to at least, like sneak up behind me. There's this long, dark hallway behind me. This is ugh, so creepy. But yeah, it's a very comfy room. It's locked, nothing indicates which key unlocks it, so it's not a dial. And I still don't have a lighter. How about keybinds? Is there a key? How about tips? Uh, lighter. Lighters are used as a minor source of light to explore the house. They last a limited amount of time. They will not prevent stress buildup. They will not prevent stress buildup. Standing in the dark with a lighter will decrease your character's sanity. They can also light candles. So I'm not going to use it to light up areas unless completely desperate. Also, let me just save the game. It's been a long time, probably. 29 minutes. Oh dear, that's way too much. That's going to take forever to render, but I'm going to leave it here and I hope you enjoyed this series. Look forward to more. This is just the beginning, so if you guys want to give this a chance, because if this game only gets a few hundred views, eh, I, I don't know how much I'd want to continue it, but I'd want to continue it just as I would have wanted to continue The Conjuring as much as I complain about it. But if it gets like under-ish, 100, under 200 views, 
I, I, I don't need to rant about that, but nonetheless. I hope you look forward to more. If you did enjoy, please leave a like, comment, hit that subscribe button, become a subscriber, and hit that bell notification down below for updates on my videos. Thank you for watching, and until the next time. Mm -hmm.